last year 2017 this ancient templar tombstone was found in luxor egypt proving furthermore of what i tell you in my film the swiss beast home of the devil that the knights templars were the grave robbers in the pyramids bringing the templars treasure of pharaoh and of their ancestors into their base switzerland and actually when they the knights templars entered the big pyramid of Gizeh, they took this double V sign, which you can see here, as one of their symbols for nostalgic reasons of their victory, getting the treasure into their base, into the Swiss mountains. And as all wars are geostrategical wars for the Templars, they use that symbol as an army grade by coincidence, used in all armies all over the world and even to a French company in their hands, a car company, Citroën. And just look what the main objective of the Nazi Templars was and still is, to loot and destroy, and then sell themselves as defenders of the white race. So the stupid Europeans give total assistance to their masters. Luxor, where the Templar's tombstone was found, lies in Upper Egypt in the south, where Akhenaten of the New World Order, Per Het, White House ruled, just as their Templar descendants were New World Order boys. Again, watch the Swiss Beast documentary to understand this all. The war of Akhenaten, the her heretic pharaoh of the Upper Egypt, New World Order White House against the original primogenitor Lower Egypt Old World Order Red House was not a religious one as they tried to sell it to us but it was a political war for power in fact there never ha ever has been any religious war in the entire human history because if you trace it if you if you trace them all back all these wars the roots of all the so-called religious wars are political and geostrategical internal quarrels of our aristocratic masters over succession, wealth and power. Religion is just another pretext to set people up against each other over a difference of race, nationality, wealth, ideology, or as in this case, some fabricated differences in religion. My God is better than yours, same as my car is bigger than yours. That's why our masters have always bred the stupid slaves, killing all intelligentsia in all massacres and genocides. Pol Pot did it, Hitler, Stalin, Caesar, well you name it, they all did it. It's probably in our genes of the matrix to protect the stupid, because they seem to be weak and defenseless. But let me tell you this. They are not. I will stab you in the back for a bigger car or for some bigger god presented by our, by our masters in exchange for rendered services to the empire. The uh, discovery of the Templar tombstone also proves that the Templar dudes come out of Pharaoh's aristocracy. How would they know otherwise where to go and dig? leading them directly into the land of their ancestors. And of course the prostitutes, as usual, hide the truth from us. By saying that the tombstone is Coptic, which the laws of silence around the Templars and around their base Switzerland obliged them to. Well, you don't have to be an expert to see that the Coptic graffiti on the tombstone has a completely different style not as precise as the Templars cross. I'll tell you what happened. It's a widespread ancient tradition of the locals to reuse pharaonic artifacts for constructing their houses, even like with stones from and around the pyramids. So this Coptic guy had his father died and thought by himself, blimey, I've got so many other things to do and I know of this nice old tombstone around of which there are no visiting relatives in the village anymore. So let's use that one and carve dad's name in it. And I have the rest of the day off drinking some Oriental tea. 
If you watch the carvings on the tombstone, you can see the rings of power, similar to what I've shown you in this video here. So go watch it to better understand it. And as I've shown you in this video here, the Templar's cross comes out of a pyramid originally. So Pharaoh, our masters, kings and presidents, get protected by the first ring with an arrow towards them, meaning that the ring of defense in a lower degree, though but still belongs to the same Pharaonic family. So here you can see that uh, arrow going down and one is here going up. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and the outer circle has an outward arrow pointing out that they are the lower ranks of defense out of the people's ranks. Remem remember, the stupid ones who always stab us in our backs while we still even protect them. So the first circle and line of defense are the officers out of the per A, mostly second, third, and fourth sons, etc. And in the middle is the pyramids Templars cross, out of which our Freemason presidents come from. So this has to be defended at all costs. A ring also symbolizes an alliance, as in Lord of the Rings, symbolizing our masters and their rings of defense and alliances, just like in the Vesica Pites, uh, meaning unus pro omnibus, omnes pro uno. One for all and all for one, as you can see here on the ceiling of the Swiss Parliament. And Switzerland was founded by the Knights Templars in 1291. That's why you find it here. They are the first world or new world order from 1291. The US was the second in 1776. So here you can see where Lux, Luxor, where they found the Templars tombstone, where it lies. It's in Upper Egypt. And here's the rest of the region, Israel, Jordan. And here is Mecca. So, you know, it's all pharaonic anyway. They've got the thing called the Kaaba. Ka is the soul, you know, uh, for, and Ba is the, the ever-living soul. It's all pharaonic. So if you just cross the dip here, you get here in Mecca, you know. And it's all about Saudi kings. And so here it is in Upper Egypt, the Per Het. It means the White House. This is where they started the New World Order. And then they brought it to France. And uh, yeah, well, you know the whole story. Just watch the Swiss bees, home of the devil. Theoretically, the Templars cross on that tombstone could be pharaonic, but it's not precise enough to be from that era. Definitely Templars era. Therefore, robbing the tombs of the ancestors over a period of 200 years of crusades from 1095 to 1291 a long elapse of time in which many people passed away on that soil needing some type of ornament to be remembered and i do urge you not to forget that pharaoh's nobility in and over europe are the same per a family as the arabic or turkish nobility who in their alliance against all peoples of the world have made an agreement concerning the free passage of oil of the Arab nobility, like the Emirates and King and Princes of Saudi Arabia, and equally, equally free passage of all Muslims to come to Europe in return. And part of the deal for getting a lot of oil for Royal Shell, Royal British BP, British Petrol, and the rest of the royal oil lobby. Having both the pharaonic royals over Europe and those over the Arabs earn a lot of money for them and their royal descendants to parasite on our backs. And with our backs, I mean both Europeans and Muslims, for we, all, for we are all their slaves. Yes, the white man has been a slave of pharaoh's aristocracy for 2000 years now whether it'll be the king of england or his cousin here the caliph of arabia and this european girl slave is probably only 13. 